The group is heading 1,000 kilometers northeast to Fitzroy Crossing. The town and the surrounding valley has a population of around 3,500. Death and violence caused by alcohol was rife here. But as the group will now discover, this turmoil was before the women of Fitzroy Crossing rose up to give hope to a town that had little. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to Bunaba country. After being officially greeted onto country, local Bunaba woman June Oscar tells the group how women waged a war on alcohol. We couldn't continue to live in a community that was just being decimated by alcohol. And you know, every aspect of life, every facet of life was being affected. And in 2005, six, we had 50 deaths in the valley. Many of them were alcohol-related deaths. Our right to a future was important. We had to fight for that future. So the women decided then in July of 2007, enough was enough. We want to pursue restrictions on the sale of full-strength alcohol. In the first campaign of its kind, June and her supporters won. Full-strength takeaway alcohol was banned in Fitzroy Crossing. The impact was immediate. Within the first three to six months, we, we saw the um, you know, presentations at hospital from 85% um, alcohol-related injuries dropped to 15, 25, wow. 15. In a country of 10 million, almost 1 million have fled as refugees. Hello. But many can't escape.